Hello there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK, around the world, into your home. Welcome and thank you. Um, you're welcome to subscribe, like and share. And today I wanted to talk about the flag waving piccaninny with the watermelon smile, which is what Boris Johnson is calling black people. Yeah, and so um, I got sent this video. It's about a month old. Yes, about, yeah, four weeks old, I think it is. Where he walks past these two black guys who attended his conservative MP party. Now, Boris Johnson waves hands to all of the, the white people. And he totally ignores two black guys who are there standing up clapping. Now, it does remind me a little bit of... Um, Prince Harry's um, skit where, you know, he's shaking hands and he's using a different method of greeting according to the race. But this is totally different. Boris, Boris Johnson is totally, totally ignoring them. You might have seen this, but I'm going to show it to you anyway. Part of, um, we are Europeans. Uh, he was met with me in near silence there. And there he is embracing his girlfriend, uh, Carrie Simmons. Not uh, bothering... Yeah, they was going to say not bother, uh, not bothering to shake the hands of those two black guys, but it got cut off. But my point is, is that I don't know what they're doing there. I really don't know what. You have some black people who feel as though they're better than anyone else. They feel as though they're rubbing shoulders with the upper echelon. They feel as though they're the upper class and, you know, the working class and the um, middle class don't belong don't belong with them because they're better. You know, we go to the Conservative Party, we are voting Conservative. You know, but whether you're voting Conservative, whether you're voting Green, whether you're voting Labour, whether you're voting Lib Dems, when the shit hits the fan, love, all black people will be lumped in the same, same bag and kicked out. Do you think they're going to be worried about what level, you, who you're voting for? Do you think because you're conservative, they're going to say, oh, these two are conservative, let, let, them, let them stay? They're not going to do that. So I don't know why they feel that they have to prove a point because that's what they're doing. Why would you put yourself in a position where you're going to be insulted and disrespected like that? I don't understand it. You know that this president, this prime minister, I'm sorry, this prime minister has called you, a black, as a black person, a flag-waving piccaninny with a watermelon smile, and yet you go and support him. Does that make any sense? That means you've got no self-respect, no self-regard. You're one of these people who feel that, you know, um, you know, these people who think, oh, yes, you know, if I do this, the white people will love me. He's probably got a white wife. He's probably, those two, they probably got white wives, probably got, you know, all white friends. And they think that they, when the wrath comes, they feel they're going to be spared. But we're all one in the eyes of the Father. The fact that you're, you feel that you're better is not going to make a difference. And to be honest... You know, Boris Johnson, he really put them in, the, in their place. Serves them bloody right. What the hell are they doing there? Conservatives are for white people. Really, that's what it's made for. Far right white people. Blacks don't belong there. And yet you'll have all these house owners who feel that they're conservative because they own a house. And if your house isn't, you know, a couple of million... Know your place. That's, that's what they're more or less saying. Know your place. You don't belong here. And that is indirectly what he's telling those two gentlemen. Those two gentlemen really probably thought, I'm going to go and support Boris. I really like his policies. I'm going to support him. You know, I think he's going to be, I think he's going to be a good conservative leader. I think we're going to get better schools, better education, better NHS. Yes, I'm going to support him. They probably talk like that too. 
And what he's done, basically, Boris Johnson has done, is basically looked at them and said, you don't belong here, what are you doing here? That's basically what he's saying. And then they're clapping, clapping, clapping. That's a defence mechanism. I wouldn't be surprised if the two of them spoke and said, look, let's clap. So it, it doesn't look so embarrassing. Because deep down, I'm sure they knew that he wasn't going to shake their hands. But if they're clapping and he ignores them, they can say, oh, it's because I was clapping. Why? He ignored us. Why he didn't shake our hands. But the fact of the matter is, what he could have done is at least looked up to them and said, thank you for coming. That's what he could have done. Clapping or no clapping. If he was a decent gentleman, brought up right with manners, he would have acknowledged them and said, thank you for coming. He wouldn't have walked straight past them. That's the height of disrespect and disregard. And so those two there, they can't go home now and say, I bet if that video hadn't come out, I wonder who took it. But I bet if that video hadn't come out, he would have gone home and said, oh, yes, you know, we, we met with Boris Johnson and we had a good chat and blah, blah, blah. You know, yes, I'm, I'm voting conservative, you know. There are black people like that. And I'm not saying who you should vote for, who you shouldn't vote for, but you vote for people who've got your interest at heart. You don't vote for people who call you a flag-waving piccaninny with a watermelon smile. What is that person going to do for you? He's already openly declared that. What can I say? That's all for now. Bye-bye.